What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to pass data from a child component to a parent component in Angular 14. And so I've got my Angular app open here. If you had a chance to check out my last video on using the input decorator, which was essentially passing data from parent to child. Go ahead and check that one out. This is the same app where uh, we had our parent component and depending on which button we click in our parent, we were gonna display the appropriate image on our child component. So laptop, car, and skyline. For this component or this uh, video, I've created a couple of new components, um, one uh, parent output and child output. And um, essentially, when we take an action on our child component, it's just going to display a message on our parent component. OK, so let's go to Visual Studio Code and uh, see how we can implement this. OK, so I'm going to start in my child component. And the first thing I need is a Boolean to keep track of our check uh, event. So is checked. And now I'm going to add an output decorator. So I'm going to call that unchecked. And that's going to be a new event emitter. And I'll explain that in just a second. And I'm going to set that as type Boolean. So event emitter is uh, basically just a class that Angular provides to allow us to um, emit you know events from one component to another and our output uh, decorator is simply something that uh, allows data to pass from the you know from one component to another so in this case from child to parent so i'm also going to have to uh, add a method here um, to set my boolean and my unchecked properties here. So I'm going to add a check value. And this is simply what's going to be called when we uh, toggle the checkbox. So we're just going to toggle our is checked value on or off. And we're going to emit that value to the parent component um, whenever this method is called. So I'm going to go ahead and post um, these new um, components on my GitHub page, which, contain, which contains the code from the other video. And it also contains the code from the you know, long video that I have on Angular 14 with .NET Core uh, 6 Web API. So it's all going to be in the same repository there. So if you've had a chance to check this out, let's go to um, our HTML. And in our HTML, I simply need to uh, replace this with just a standard bootstrap checkbox. So let's go over this, um, just a standard uh, checkbox. And our change event is simply going to call our check value method. And our checked property is simply going to uh, reflect what this value is here. So let me go back to that give you a chance to catch up. And next, we're going to be moving over to the parent output dot component dot TS. So essentially, on the parent component, we're just going to, uh, we're just going to display a message. So it's going to we're going to keep it real simple. So let me go to parent output component. And I'm just going to go ahead and add a string property so is checked and we'll set that equal to an empty string for now and i'm also going to need a method um, to handle the event emitter um, so i'm going to call it child checkbox checked so essentially it, it accepts a boolean parameter and it's just going to set our string either to the checkbox is checked or the checkbox is not checked, depending on what we do in the child component. So I'll let you go ahead and catch up to that. Um, 
one thing I do want to point out also on the child component, um, you know, when we get to our import statements, so I'm going go back to the child, um, it added event emitter and output to our input from Angular Core. So when we added this, uh, you know, output decorator, so if I were to take this out of here, you know, we would get that and event emitter, then we would get that. And if you wanted to fix that, you could just do a control dot and it will add the imports for you. Control dot. And there you have it. So go ahead and save all of these back to the parent. And now we are ready to um, take a look at the parent HTML. So in our parent HTML, I'm just going to replace this with um, the following. It's just a bootstrap container with two rows. And this is um, our parent div where we're just going to display our message. And this is our child div where we're actually uh, create, we're adding our child component selector here. And basically what this unchecked means is that the value of um, our check value. So um, whatever, whatever this is set, when this is called, it sets our unchecked event emitter. It emits the value of is checked. So, I mean, that's essentially what we're passing here. We're emitting the result of our em event emitter, and we're going to pass that to this method here. So whatever the value is, that's what's getting passed into this method. So if you take a look at the code here, you see like on the parent component, there actually is nothing that directly calls our method. I mean, essentially, this is called from the child because the event emitter emits that, and then we set the result of that method call, and we send that to our method on the parent component. So let me just do a control K and S and fire this up, and we'll go and check this out. Okay, so let me just hit that checkbox. Checkbox is checked. Checkbox is not checked. Okay, back to Visual Studio Code. So let's review this real quick. So we have our output decorator. We have our property, which is of type event emitter. And we make, well, it's an event emitter, which is of type Boolean. And when we click our checkbox, we're going to emit you know, whatever this property is. So whether it's true or false. So the checked property of our checkbox, that's what we're emitting. And we're emitting that to our parent, which is um, expecting, you know, the, the value of what happens in that method. And it's going to call our method on our parent component and set our message and finally display that um, in our parent component. So that's it for today's video. If you like this video, uh, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave any comments if you'd like, and I'll see you next time.